Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. I'm Ashish Mathur and in this video I'd like to show you how you can align data from two columns. For other solutions you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data actually looks like. I have a base data sheet with two lists. List 1 which has A, C and D. List 2 which has A, B and C. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to align data appearing in the two columns. So my expected solution should look as follows. Test A appearing in the same row for the two columns. So this is case for test C. For test B, the cell has been left blank because there is no test B entry in list 1. And likewise, there is no test D entry in list 2. So I'd like to show you how you can accomplish this via using Power Query. So first and foremost, I'll actually select this data set over here. And I'll go to Power Query. Under Excel data, I click on from table there, ensure that my range is A1 to A4. My table has headers. I click on OK there. The name is list 1. I let that stay the way it is. Table 3, I'm fine with that. And I do not want to load this to the worksheet. So I click on apply and close. And I perform a similar operation for list 2 as well. So I select this Power Query, Excel data, from table, this one becomes B1 to B4. My table has headers. Okay. List 2, table 4, load to worksheet. I want to disable the load. Okay. Now I click on apply and close and get the data and come back to the Excel file. Okay. My next step would actually be to create one consolidated list of all test names from both these lists over here. So for that, I go to Power Query yet again and under combine, there's something here called append. I click on append. I want to append data from table 3 as well as table 4. I click on OK. And much to my surprise, instead of actually getting one combined list from both the from both the lists which I had, I actually have two different lists over there. And this is simply happening because the heading of the second list is not the same as that of the first one. So I close this for now. I discard my changes and I edit the table 4 query by selecting the by taking my mouse over there clicking on edit i simply right click on the header over here and rename this to list one everything else remaining the same i click on apply and close now let me retry to append so i append over there table three with table four click on ok and i now get that one combined list from both those individual lists over there as you can see, test A and test C over here are getting repeated. I'd like to get a unique list. So I right click and I simply say remove duplicates. Let's call this unique list. Uh, I want to disable load to worksheet and apply and close. So we now have one master list from these two individual lists. My next step would actually be to merge list one into the master list. So I now click on merge under the power query window there. I choose over here unique list. Here in I choose table three. I select this heading, press the control key, select this one as well to establish a connection between the two. Click on OK. And I get list one. In the second column, titled as new column, I get a I get four I get a two um, opposite headed arrow. I click on that, list one. And as you can see, at least so far, I've got the alignment done between the appended data list and the and list one. So let's call that merge one itself. And I want to disable load to worksheet here as well. I simply click on apply and close. So one last step now is to basically merge list two into this merge one. So for that, we go to Power Query under Combine. I click on Merge. Here in I choose Merge one. Here I choose Table four. And I establish a connection by selecting this column, pressing the control key, selecting this as well. I click on OK. And I expand the column over here of list 1. Now, focus on the second and third column. Test A is aligned, so is test C. Test B shows an entry only in the third column, not in the second one. Test D shows it only in the second one, not in the third one. The list one over there is... Is, is, is of no use to me, so I simply right click here, I do a remove, I can rename this to, sorry, so I performed an incorrect step, I can simply undo my previous step, right click, I do a rename, let's call that list 1, I rename that to 
just two. I'd like to load that with the worksheet and let's just call that um, align data list. I click on apply and close. Get the data into the spreadsheet over here. So test A, test C, B and D which exactly matches with my expected solution over here. So, and one last thing, the beauty of using Power Query over here is that the, uh, that the result is dynamic, which means that if I were to actually go and either add data by rows or else edit the data over here, all I need to do is right click and do a refresh. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.